guys and welcome back to the studio for another workout. Today we're going to focus mainly on legs and rotational elements. So we're going to do format wise, we're going to do two exercises back to back for four sets and we're going to do that twice through. So the first set will be eight minutes long, second set will be eight minutes long and then we'll slow things down, look for a touch more precision for two other exercises that we're going to break down individually on their own. Um, remember to scale your workout to your own ability. Don't try and keep up with me. I'm going to be working at my own pace today. I really want you to do the same. So you can scale your weights, you can scale your range of motion, you can scale your times of working and or resting, uh, or a nice mixture of all of those to get this perfect tailored workout uh, so you feel better at the end of the workout than you do at the beginning. Uh, members will get a full access of a breakdown of each individual exercise in the exercise library after this video. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit the notification button so you get updated with any of the videos that we do in the future. Uh, apart from that, that's pretty much it. We need to get into it. So grab yourself a drink, get some space and let's get moving. Okay, so slightly different layout to how we're going to get going today. We're going to do a two minute breakdown, one minute on each different exercise of the first set and then we're just going to go bang straight into it. So the first one is a back lunge using a med ball today. I'm using a, a wall ball but you can use any bit of kit you want or no kit at all. Okay, it's completely up to you. Hold the ball at your chest, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you've got. You're going to take a nice big back lunge and as you take that back lunge, there's going to be that rotational element in the body. Knee's going to touch the floor, you're going to come back to the middle, then you're going to drop down onto the other side. Okay? Timing and tempo is fairly important on this one, you just want to take your time. You can scale all the movements, so you can scale the depth, you can scale that range of motion, but you're looking for something that's quite smooth. So as this is your warm up, you can just take our time. We're stepping through, touch the floor. See, I'm in no rush. When I come up, it's really important that I try and hold the ball towards the outside of that front leg. Don't be in a rush off the floor to bring it in. You'll find your knees will collapse and you're gonna have to catch yourself on the other side. So we come up, across, drop down to the floor. Happy with that one. Second exercise we're gonna do is a rotational press. So we're gonna grab some dumbbells. The rotational press is dumbbells at the shoulders from here, so rotation around to one side, and whatever leg that you've pivoted on the back, you've got a nice straight press here. So we come down, we rotate around to the other side, nice big press. Down to the shoulder, rotate round, nice big press. Round the body, nice big press. Make sure, just like the other one, you don't rush the, the timing to rotate round. So you bring the dumbbell down, then you start to rotate, drive the dumbbell straight up into the air. Dumbbell comes down first, rotate round, drive the dumbbell into the air. There's no real way that we want to simplify this, because like I said, I want to put a rotational element into it. So the biggest one will be choose the weight that uh, are suitable for you. We're going to be going for a minute, so it's quite a long time. So there's our two movements. We've got five seconds, and we're going to go straight into that first set. Grab my ball, and we're going to start back lunging. So we're straight into it, like we said, no messing.
So, that's given us four sets. Should be nice and warm by now. Um, use the first two minutes to kind of pick up a bit of sweat. But that template, that layout, that structure is exactly what we're gonna do. Activity completed. Thank you very much. It's what we're gonna do in the next, uh, next block. So let's get straight into it if you need to grab a drink. So round number two, same layout. I'm gonna show you the two movements for a minute each. Then we're just gonna break those down and then we're no messing, we're just gonna go straight into it. So the first one we're gonna go through is a deep lunge with a dumbbell press. Scale the weight on this if it feels too heavy. The depth is the one thing that's gonna kill you, definitely after the lunges we've just done before. Okay, so whatever hand you got the dumbbell in, that leg is gonna be the front leg. We're still gonna do a back lunge. So the opposite leg goes back, down to the floor. As you come up to neutral, you drive up the dumbbell up into the air. You bring the dumbbell back down to the shoulder, you load the leg, unload that leg all the way through to the dumbbell, back down to the shoulder, up and big drive. Okay, so you can probably scale this, you can do like five on one side, five on the other. Because um, I'm working to a timer, I'm probably gonna go 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds to the other, but it's really up to you. Um, if you need to make this easier, obviously, you don't speed the reps up, but you just go for a shallow bounce through the leg. So if you watch, I come to the shoulder, I use that spring of that nice high position just to load the press, and drive it straight back up. Nice big press. Second one. So the second one is the same rotation as we did in the press, but instead of pressing this time, you've got two dumbbells like before, you rotate around, same position, so you're gonna swing here. Bring the dumbbells to the shoulder, you come up and round, reach the dumbbells and swing. Round. The timing is the dumbbells want to come first, so you reach and swing. As you hinge, you keep that hinge as you bring the dumbbells to the shoulders, you come up and round, reach out, keep the body position, you bring yourself up using that glute, you'll feel it, Swing, load, use the glute to bring you up and round, load it into the other side. The big one with this one is just scale the weight. The movement is way more important and that little delay that we're trying to get here to here, super, super important. So that gives us five seconds to get straight into that first move. Grab your dumbbell, you've got a deep lunge with a press. Straight into it. Make sure you come to neutral.
Take your time, there's no rush. Scale the weight if you need to. Load that hip. Oh, drive out of the hip and then don't rush into the next set. Just take your time. Looking for some quality reps. Bring the dumbbell down, lean to the side, load the hip, unload it, lean. All those weight transitions that we do, how you shift your weight will literally dictate how well you can move athletically. So when we're training, that's what we need to be thinking about. We're trying to train, when you train, you should train to get better at something, not to just do. Oh, one more, nice, cool. So you've got one more, one more of the pendulum swings. These ones are kicking my ass, so hard. So just take your time, go to no weights if you have to, but just really see how much work you can get out of the glutes when you come up out of that position. Swing, load the glute, come up and round. Take your time, load the glute, up, round. There's no rush in the transition to get the dumbbells out. Remember, we're looking for the smoothness. So you see, I just keep going. But it's not rushed, I'm taking my time. It's still kicking my ass, but we're really just trying to work into not letting the brain start to panic. We're trying to work with a bit of logic and loads of focus on the important bit. So even though we've got 15 seconds left, that's not important. We don't need to fit as many repetitions as possible into that. We need to fit perfect repetitions into that up and you can rest lovely stuff so that's superset two they're done now we're going to split these down now into two individual movements where we'll look for a little bit more precision pause it now if you need a little bit more rest if you need to grab it so second to last exercise that we're going to go through this one we're going to go through four sets and we're going to focus on each leg but we're going to obviously alter those between each minute so you actually get two minutes to focus on your balance and this gait sequencing uh, twice through. Um, this one is a bit of a sink or swim guys, it might be really easy, uh, chances are it's probably not. So we've got one minute just to go through it. So you're going to choose a leg to balance on, okay? So from here, the legs, to split the legs, the leg is gonna reach back, and then you're gonna slowly drive the knee through, okay? So from the side, that leg is reaching back, we're here, and then you're slowly gonna bring that leg through, okay? How the arms work are in a pull and push sequence. So from the front, whatever leg I'm reaching back, I'm gonna reach this dumbbell out slightly in front of me, and as I start to bring that knee through, the arms switch, so I reach one away, and I reach, I pull one into me. So I'm coming out to here, and I'm slowly transitioning onto the other side. So you've got that pull and push. The leg that's on the floor is the one that's gonna be working overtime. You see the speed I'm working at? I'm gonna switch legs so I can start on this side. We're gonna go straight into it. So I'm here, I've reached opposite. Leg comes through, swap the dumbbells. We're straight back in. Remember we said this is a focus movement. We're looking for precision through this. This is what you'll probably call balance training. You'll feel your balance really being tested here. So just take your time. There is zero rush to go through this. I'm not slowing this down for the video. This is me, as you've seen. I am actually training. So I'm trying to do the best possible version I can do for you guys. So one, show you that slow stuff is not easy. It's fairly brutal. And you might feel anything here. Your back might start to feel like it's having to work a bit harder. You might feel your shoulders. I'm definitely getting glutes. 
My calf is on fire. My ankle's working. I come through. Luckily, I can rest there. Cool. So I can give you the best version of these. I have a mirror just to the side of me. So if I look at the camera, I've got no reference point. So if you've got a mirror at home, try and train into a mirror. I'm gonna go quiet next side. Let's get straight into it. Okay, cool. So, it's really slow and steady. You might have seen that I was having to really, really slow down on that. You may have been all over the place whilst doing that movement, but that is something. Activity completed. We know, thank you. That might have been something that you just are gonna have to work on day to day. So this is just a very soft, very basic gait sequence that we've been through before, like pulling and pushing cables, swinging dumbbells, Awesome, so here we are, last exercise. This one's got uh, a bit of a plyometric feel to it. Uh, so it's, ju it's jumping. So we're gonna use, a, I'm gonna use a ball. You can use, uh, literally just use your hands working from your hips. 
you can use the ball because obviously then it can't go past your hips. Um, this is one that you really want to look to scale as well. So I'm going to show you the full version of it to start. Show you a side view so you can see what we're looking for. So the ball doesn't come any higher than shoulder height. Those elbows you see just stay just in front of the body. Now when I hinge over, I want to bring the ball to the pelvis, okay? Then from here, the pelvis comes further back, okay? So when you bring the ball down, we don't want the ball with the pelvis moving before the ball, because that's gonna then kind of set you into this offset throw. So we want to bring the ball down, as soon as the ball hits the pelvis, we load the jump and we come back up. So we come up, the ball comes down, and then you, you're pulling it into that pelvis. So when you hit the floor, you're pulling and loading the floor, then exploding and popping back out of it. Too much, we're working here. Ball hits the pelvis and we spring. We've got seven seconds, so it's up to you. We're going to get 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, five rounds. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Heart rate's through the roof here. Control that breathing. 
Get through the set if you need the ball, use it. If not, body weight will do. Let's get through it. Awesome work guys, another one in the bag and another step closer to living a pain-free, more athletic lifestyle. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below. If you train with me online or in person, bring it up in your next session or drop me a message. If you are interested on training online or in person, you can go to movementmethodstudio.com, sign up for the mailing list, and I'll send you all the information that you'll need to get your journey going. If you haven't liked the video guys, it would really go a long way if you could just hit that button, subscribe to the channel for more content to help you on your journey to that pain-free life we we're talking about. Anyway, I'll see you in the next workout. Go steady.